Hi everyone. So I hope you already installed the uh, Scratch program in your laptop. So today what we're going to do is we're going to go through the layouts, understand how each individual individual blocks works, and you can see this cat, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to move the cat in all four directions. So that's what we're going to do today. So before that, I just wanted to let you know one thing. Uh, I think uh, you, you should also know Qatar National uh, Scratch Program Competition, right? Coding competition. Coding competition happens every year, and even you can also participate. So all you need is like a good amount of practice, and even you can also participate. So and they give out like good prizes also. So last year, uh, currently actually won this iPad Pro. So I guess this is a, this is around uh, five thousand riyals. So and they give out really good prizes also. So I just wanted to let you uh, know about what is happening over there. Okay. So today, uh, Karnik is going to teach you about the layouts and the basics program. Okay, Karnik. Okay, when you see the top left corner of Scratch, you can see code, costume, and sound. Sound is the one which you can set a sound for a character. Like for now, we have a cat sound. We can change the costume of the cat by going to costumes. Now we are keeping in costume one. In code, you can make, you can program the cat by going the codes. So what we'll be doing in this class is we'll be making the cat move in all four directions. Okay, uh, and I think probably uh, I just wanted to let you know. Here can you see a lot of uh, the individual blocks, right? So let's say if you want to your scratch program to move, you just click motions. With that you can see like move 10 steps forward, backward, this kind of stuff like that. And looks where we can say hey, hello, like this kind of stuff. So each individual sound, events, controls, sensing operation so these individual blocks carry each individual works okay so don't worry it looks a little bit complex but it is very easy to do also as the classes go on probably you can uh, try out each one today okay don't need to be worried about so okay today uh, we're going to move this cat forward backward up and down okay that's what it's a simple program we're going to do today okay can you do that so the first thing you'll be needing is by going to events, you have to select the key that you should press to move the cat in a direction. So I'm going to drag it. Okay, all you have to do is just click and drag to the other side. Okay. So I'm going to choose right arrow. While pressing right arrow, I want the cat to move towards the right side. So I'm going to go to motions. Scroll down. And I'm going to choose change X by. X is the horizontal movement of the cat. So whenever I press change X by 10, I am pressing right arrow now. The cat moves 10 steps towards its right side. Okay. Now we just wanted to bring it back. There is two ways of doing it. Either you can do the you can repeat the same push, same again, okay? Rather than the right arrow, you can keep the left arrow. Or you can do another thing, you can just right click and duplicate. Okay? So you can keep it over there. Now we just have to change the values. Okay, rather than the right arrow, we have to click on the left arrow. So now, for it to go backward, I'm going to use a negative integer minus 10. Okay, just click on the 10 and click minus 10. So it's simple. Every time you click left, minus 10 step, it should take back. Every time you click on the right, 10 steps should go back. So that's simple, okay? So now you can see x axis, it is moving on x axis. That's why it's called change x by, right? So now, it's going forward and backward. Let's see. Forward and backward. Okay. Now the next challenge. We have to move it. Up and, and down. Up. Okay. So now do it. So I'm again going to controls. I mean events. When dash click, choose up arrow. When up arrow click, I want to move to the y axis. So I'm going to go to motions. Instead of taking Change x by, I want to change y by. Okay. So change y by 10, positive, it will go up. So I am pressing the up arrow, it goes up. Up, back, forward, up. Okay, so now, uh, I guess we have done three directions, right? The fourth direction is now a challenge for you. Just think, it's just like very easy. All you have to do is you have to duplicate something. And you have to change, give the value minus and assign the down arrow key. Okay, so this is going to be your first challenge, I guess. Okay, um, try making uh, move move the cat in all four directions. We have already done it in three direction. The fourth direction now you have to do it by yourself. And if you have any issues, you can always come on back in the uh, in the comment box below, and we'll be happy to help you out. Okay, so just try it out this one, and uh, now you you can if you do it perfectly, you can your cat can move in all eight directions. 
easily okay so so in the next video uh, what we're going to do is we're going to bring the cat to a starting position and that is going to be the start of the puzzles and how we're going to do it okay so that's all for today's class and uh, we hope to see you in the next video so don't forget to subscribe, subscribe okay and uh, always happy to help thank you